Hello everybody, this video is for anybody who wants to estimate steel fabrication but doesn't have thousands of dollars to spend on fancy estimating software. Being a small fabricator myself, I'm the estimator, purchaser, project manager, pretty much everything, sometimes even the fitter welder. Uh, as you can see, there's not a lot of time in my day to waste. Uh, for years, I used pencil and paper to write down material sizes, lengths, quantities of steel during my takeoffs. But then I would have to manually look up the pounds per foot, weight factors, and do more and more manual math. This method led to many mistakes and having to work at night, taking importantly, important family time away from me. So let's jump right into what I built to make my life a lot easier here. So let's start out here. Just run, dive right into it. Project. This is project one. Oops. Where's my keyboard here? There we go. Project one, it's closing, let's say April 10th, 2020, sure. Customer, let's say this is Mr. General Contractor Inc. Let's say this is quote 101, sure. Okay, diving right in. You start out here with drawing, so let's say S1, structural one drawing. Description, we're looking at some beams. Material size. This is uh, part of the power of the tool. So if you click this drop down list, you'll see thousands of material sizes. M way more sizes than I've ever had to use, and I've never not had the size that I needed. So, for example sake, let's just say these are a normal size. Let's. You can also type in. So uh, let's go W10 at, and it'll start to fill it out for you too. W10 at 30. So there you go. Weight factor. Let's say these are linear feet. There's 10 feet. Quantity, there's four of them. Boom. There you go. That's amazing to me. <laughs> shop hours. Let's say these are, are going to take 10 hours in the shop. So right there, that is a small fabricator kind of thing. Big fabricators tend to use weights, but small fabricators, you can't because some big beams are going to just fly through your shop and some little handrails are just going to sit in your shop for weeks. So kind of use your experience and judgment on that part. Is it painted? Yes, it's painted. And you can see up here, quick view totals. It's already uh, tabulating and we'll see later how that all comes together. Raw order length. Uh, looks like we will need a 40 footer, 40 feet, one quantity. So there you go, it's going to all get the order weight we need, and we're going to talk about this markup later, and then that times that is material charge that is going to be on our total project cost that's going to add up. So this is another small fabricator thing. Um, you need to kind of take into account your stock, and you need to make sure that you don't waste a lot of money with with ordering because every penny counts as a small fabricator as you know so moving on let's do another quick let's stay on the same drawing here let's say we got some columns and let's say these are hss i just love how it just auto populates eight by eight uh let's say eight by eight by three eights here let's say these are 10 feet as well there's four of those Shop hours, let's say these are a bit more, 20. Let's say, just for example's sake, let's say these are galvanized. Raw order length, let's, uh, that's going to be a 40 footer that we need. Need one of those. And it's going to all populate. Now looking up here quickly, we can see all these quick view totals. The total fabrication uh, that's going to be pumped out of our shop. And shop fabrication costs we're going to look at options of changing shop rate and everything like that later and again all options of sh changing these rates later and total material material charge to customer so there's our takeoff already done let's move on down here to the next sheet to project cost so we have a checklist of items that i've found that you need to do a job so let's go through them everything is all auto populated up here so let's just for example say quick example sake let's say a thousand bucks thousand bucks uh, what 
you would do here is just use your your quotes and your experience from uh, from other jobs here and uh, moving on we don't need any additional steel no decking on this job anchor bolts let's say there's a hundred bucks there bolts let's say there's a hundred bucks there uh, ready raw we don't need any of that stuff for this job look at that already auto populated I skipped over this the steel is already auto populated shop fabrication total painting galvanizing all that's already done so shipping let's say we need 200 bucks for shipping uh, installation let's say that's gonna be two grand and any other things that you can think of you can add in here so boom look at that we're done we're done we got our price already so it's a subtotal and then there's an admin charge which we'll talk about that in options as well and uh, you can see you can make your own personal percentage that you want to add to the subtotal and then boom total project cost send it off to the contractor hopefully you win <laughs> okay let's talk about all those things that I was talking about earlier here so this is option sheet here it's got material size description it's got all these this is where all the data is stored for all these material sizes and weight factors and right here is your markup charge per pound so you can customly put this together I just put it all at one uh, you can change it depending on your local supplier price um, so you can change anything you like if you find if you need a w40 at 215 beam and you find a really good price on it you can change that you can make this uh, 60 cents if you'd like and then that will give you a more accurate price you can also make it higher if you can't find it or you get chart your your uh, got your estimate from your supplier and you're getting charged a lot you can make it higher too Moving on up here, paint costing per pound. I have it at eight cents per pound, so you can change that however you like. Right here, galvanizing cost per pound. You can call your galvanizer and find out what he charges and adjust it accordingly. Fabrication, fabrication hourly rate, this is your shop rate. So shop hours times this equals how much that's gonna go on the project cost. So put your own shop rate there and then your admin charge, 5%, which is what I showed you right here. All right, so that's a quick run through of the steel estimator. So I've spent hundreds of hours making changes and perfecting this template to make it this easy. Um, I'm pricing it so low that it would seriously be a mistake for you not to buy it. Um, just a question, how much do you value your own time? Just compare the low cost of this spreadsheet to the time you will save yourself. Even if you can't afford Excel, just let me know after you purchase it and I will send you the Google Sheets link which is free. So uh, wrapping things up here I just want you to say no to long wasted hours with pencil and paper. I want you to say no to thousands of dollars wasted on fancy and confusing estimating software. I want you to say yes to the best value steel fabrication estimating solution out there. Buy it now I promise you'll be glad you did. Click the link in the description to buy this template on my Etsy shop. Thanks for your time and happy estimating.